Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the website. You're probably wondering what all this Tagua business is about and why it makes good picks, but don't worry, I am here to tell you why. My name is John Tron Davidson from Heavy Repping, and this is Howling Monkey. So first things first, what is Tagua? Well, it's this. This is a Tagua nut. It's the seed of a tree that's native to places like Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, and Ecuador. It's traditionally used in making dice, knife handles, Japanese miniature carving, coat buttons, where it's called korotsu, and, for our purposes today, guitar picks. One of the upsides of Tagawa from an environmental point of view is that when the tree is ready to shed these, they simply fall from the tree, so it doesn't take any special equipment or destruction of the tree in order to harvest them. The trees themselves last for about 150 to 180 years. They produce a couple of yields a year, and every year they produce about the same ivory equivalent as an elephant produces in its adult lifetime. Now I don't mention elephants just in passing, Phytelephas is the name of this plant and the reason for that is because inside these when they are cut into cross sections they resemble uh, ivory very closely and indeed Tagua is more colloquially referred to as vegetable ivory. It's quite commonly used in the jewellery trade as an ivory replacement. So it's good for the environment, it's abundant, can be dyed any colour you like, and it's easily harvested. But what makes it good for picks? Tonally speaking, Tagua is capable of a great deal, from incredibly crisp highs to really full-bodied mids, depending on how the edges are shaped. Those tonal characteristics make it ideal for doing acoustic work. So in order to demonstrate, here is a brand new model, and my own personal model that's had a fairly rough life to show you how it wears in and the tone changes over time. Now in addition to this, because Howling Monkey picks are hand-shaped by Brian, it means that he's able to offer a very wide range of picks catering to the vast majority of players. From the traditional 351 shape of the standard and primate, the mandolin-friendly saucer, the jazz-conscious fatty, 346 shaped Triforce and Triacus, and the electrically inclined Fat Jazz and Jazz 3 models, Howling Monkey offers a pick for just about any player you can think of. Here's my own Fat Jazz doing the business on electric, with a little bit of octave mandola thrown in with the saucer on the end. <laughs> If you're looking for something a little bit more avant-garde, check out the Antonius. This started out as a customer order and it's now part of the Howling Monkey line, offering some crazy geometry and some serious, serious grip. Speaking of grip, all the picks bar the Primate and the Antonius have pistol grips carved into the front and rear to give you even more security when you're playing. Howling Monkey also offers a pick box and pocket case as well as fancy hats, shirts and tumblers in the shop. So go and check them out. When you buy Howling Monkey, you get big sounds, natural materials, proper reliability, hand finishing, and striking colours so you always look forward to playing your instrument. Buy some now. I'm John Tron Davidson from Heavy Repping. This is Howling Monkey. So if you're not sure what to do in life, remember, rep hard and rep monkey. <laughs>